In a group in 66 and you were known, you wouldn't have been there in, in 78, 79. If you was known in 77, you, you shouldn't be there in, in 1990. You know, my first LP was 12 years ago, I shouldn't be here. Pop music is supposed to have a short lifespan. I'm not one of those big artists like Bowie, I shouldn't be here. But I am. It's bedroom music, it's personal music, is that correct? It's expensive bedroom music. <laughs> It was made in an house in Shepherd's Bush, uh, the kid I co-wrote it with. And he had his wife and his child in, in the back bedroom and we took over the front room. We had £400,000 worth of equipment in the front room. We borrowed all the equipment and we spent the whole winter working in the house. Not with a view to where we were going to take it, just to get the songs down. We, wa we wanted to use proper songs, but the main thing is I, wa I wanted to have the most modern sound we could get. Super modern 2001 sound. And to complete that, we had to go into a proper studio to mix it. It's all about songs, though, isn't it? And yeah. unfortunately, the, the song that's hardest for me to hear on the tech is the most wild, although it's wonderful, is Fear. Is it, is that, Fear. That's the lead single, is it? Yeah, first single, yeah. What are you prepared to do to make it a hit? Uh, I'll only do what I feel comfortable in doing. Like, I did an interview recently with Q magazine, um, and they suggested that I take my picture halfway up this old 2,000-year-old tree. We just saw the tree, it's a big, wide, beautiful tree, and I thought, why not? When I get the article, they've got me half up a tree and the headline's barking. Have you consciously placed your voice somewhere in the mix? Yeah, I've got, so it's as strong as it can be without it drowning the music out, so that I can, as I'm singing, when I stop singing, the music comes back round. Your voice sounds really good on this, on the new album, but you still have, there's some very Mancunian twang in it. Do you, have, do you have to? Do you try? Do you have to try when you do that with the voice, or does it? Is it? it is no, that. not at all. Sometimes I lay it back and I think, boy, it sounds really northern. That let me do it again. And the guys are going, no, that that is you. Leave it. You know, my mother said when you're doing this, when you're doing this program, can you talk properly because your accent sometimes too strong for me to pick up. So. <laughs> In terms of myths and stuff, there is this idea that. You're brilliant, you're fantastic, greatest group, most, the best attitude since Rotten, but maybe your voice isn't that good. Yeah. Where does this come from? Because the voice sounds great on the new album. It's always, where does the Ian Can't Sing Very Well come from? I have done a few bad shows, ah. um, but I did used to play with a guitarist that had four martial amps, yeah. or four Fender Twin hot wired amps. So I sometimes couldn't hear myself singing. So maybe I'd shout, so that sounds shit straight away. And I did do Redding in 96 and, and the singing was awful. So I have, I have got, done a couple of shows that the singing's been shocking. But when I first come out, they said he sings like an angel, he sings like a eunuch. How important were the pistols to you? When you're 14, the pistols are everything. They're saying everything how it is. Plus you have the Jubilee year. And you can see everything when you're 14. When you're 14, you're wide awake. You know exactly what's going on, and the pistols were, were perfect for us. And they were only 19, I think, at the time. They were young. Yeah. I'm, I'm in Hume, it's 1983, and the girls just had a party. She's, she's 21, and um, a kid called Glenn. You remember Glenn that used to work in New Yeah. He brought Gino down to the party because he was working at Salford. Do you know Washington, the great Gino Salford. Washington, yeah. He brought him down, this, this guy, to, to the party. He, he just played Salford Tech. And during the party, Gino keeps telling me I'm a star. He goes, you're a star, you're a star, you're a star, you should be a singer, you're a star. I'm like, what's up with this old guy? Like, you know, he's on my case. He just kept saying it to me all night, be a singer. He kept saying, be a singer, go for it, be a singer. Because actually your main activity then was scootering, wasn't it? Well, I was mainly into martial arts. From age 11 till 18, I did martial arts every day, seven days a week. Uh, but we used to make our own scooters, yeah, choppers. We weren't mods, but we used to go to the Northern Soul all nighters. We used to make our own choppers and, and bone down scooters. You used to go all over, yeah. That would be 80, 81, 82. Cut down scooters and martial arts. Do you think you would be able to. Bruce Lee was me, you know. When I was a kid, I didn't have music posts. I had Bruce Lee all over my room. When I was a kid, Ali and Bruce Lee, they, they was my main. How did you feel about doing the other side of midnight? We were made up to do the other side of midnight. Were you? Yeah, made up, absolutely made up. Didn't look like it, didn't look like it, because you're always, you do seem to be moody buggers. Yeah, I think we was pretty moody that day. I think we were nervous. Oh. Yeah. It was good though. In fact, it was more than good. What's your memories of it? Yeah, it sounded good. Crest looked good. Yes. Yeah, it sounded good.
but whatever happened, different members of the group were taking different drugs. Yeah, at the same time. And that's not a good idea? That's a, not a good idea, no. And we've got no manager there to stop us. There's four little chiefs. Always the worst mistake. With a $2 million advance. <laughs> Recipe. Like you say, Americans who didn't have a clue about what we were about, even though they'd signed us. Okay. We were just the latest big thing from England and they wanted us. And they got the checkbook out and we went for it and they didn't hear a note of music for three years. <laughs>